What if renewing your mitochondria could make your immune system act younger within a month? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're examining how urolithin A may help you counter immune aging by supporting mitochondrial renewal. We'll look at what changes with age, what a recent clinical trial found, and the practical steps you can take to strengthen cellular energy. I'm Alara Skye. You'll hear how naive T cells, natural killer cells, and mitochondrial biogenesis markers shifted after short-term supplementation why only some people naturally produce urolithin A from foods, and how strategies like lowering linoleic acid and supporting NAD plus fit into the bigger picture. As you age, your thymus produces fewer newly formed T cells, which limits fresh responses to unfamiliar threats. At the same time, memory T cells accumulate, making your immunity less adaptable. Persistent low-grade inflammation, often called inflammaging, rises in the background, Together, those shifts explain slower first-time responses and reduce flexibility in later decades. A randomized study published in Nature Aging followed healthy adults, 45 to 70 years old, who took either 1,000 milligrams of urolithin A daily or placebo for four weeks. Researchers analyzed blood at the start and end to see if mitochondrial support could reshape immune cell composition and function over that short window. Participants who received urolithin A showed an increase in naive-like CD8 T-cells and fewer signs of exhaustion. These T-cells also demonstrated about a 15% improvement in using fatty acids for energy, a sign of better metabolic flexibility. In parallel, markers tied to mitochondrial biogenesis, guided by PGC1-alpha, rose in CD8 T-cells. Innate immunity strengthened as well. A particularly active subtype of natural killer cells increased with supplementation, supporting faster recognition and elimination of abnormal or infected cells. When researchers activated T cells in the lab, those from the urolithin A group produced more TNF, and monocytes showed improved uptake of E. coli particles. Single cell sequencing revealed transcriptional shifts across immune populations touching inflammatory and metabolic pathways. In other words, you see coordinated reprogramming toward a more resilient immune profile. While this was an early, short study, the direction of change suggests meaningful support for immune surveillance. Beyond immunity, urolithin A has been investigated across several areas. In preclinical models, it influences cancer-related pathways by slowing tumor growth, promoting apoptosis, and modulating signals like NF-kappa-B and FOXO1. These findings are mechanistic and preliminary, yet they map to broader cellular stress responses. Human performance data are more direct. In older adults age 65 to 90, taking 1,000 milligrams daily for four months improved muscle endurance compared with placebo. A separate trial in middle-aged adults reported gains in quadriceps strength, better exercise performance, and favorable changes in mitochondrial biomarkers within a similar time frame. Liver and metabolic research add more context. In a mouse model of fructose-induced fatty liver, urolithin A reduced steatosis and shifted the balance toward greater fat oxidation and less lipogenesis. Other studies in obesity and insulin-resistant models show reduced triglyceride buildup, AMPK activation, thermogenesis support, and lower inflammation in adipose tissue. Before you consider how to raise your levels, it helps to know how your body makes urolithin A. When you eat elagatanin-rich foods, like pomegranates, your gut microbes convert those polyphenols into urolithins. Only about 40% of adults generate detectable amounts after such foods, and the output varies widely based on microbiome composition. That variability is why supplementation is used in trials. Another factor is delivery. Because metophagy happens within mitochondria, targeting matters. Without mitochondrial targeting, far higher doses are needed to reach similar intracellular effects. Most current products are not mitochondria targeted, though next generation systems aim to deliver lower amounts more precisely. There's also a paired strategy to consider. 
Urolithin A helps clear damaged mitochondria through metophagy, pairing it with PQQ, which activates PGC1-alpha to stimulate mitochondrial biogenesis, supplies the replacements. The idea is straightforward. Remove the broken parts and generate new ones so energy production stabilizes. You can support mitochondrial function even before specialized delivery systems become commonplace. Start by removing processed foods and vegetable oils high in linoleic acid. Aim to keep daily linoleic acid under 5 grams, ideally below 2 grams. This step helps protect mitochondrial membranes and preserves efficient energy production. Feed your cells with the right carbohydrates. A diet rich in whole fruits and white rice, free from ultra-processed additives, supplies steady glucose your mitochondria can use. A target of about 250 grams of suitable carbohydrates per day supports thyroid function and keeps cellular fuel consistent as your system recovers. Reduce environmental stressors. Limit endocrine disrupting chemicals by favoring natural materials and using glass for food storage. Create a low EMF sleeping environment so nighttime recovery runs with fewer external inputs. These changes lighten the daily load on mitochondrial function and help stabilize your baseline. Use sunlight deliberately. Regular sun exposure supports mitochondrial melatonin, a powerful intracellular antioxidant. Avoid direct peak hour sun, typically 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., until you've minimized seed oils in your diet for at least six months, since linoleic acid buildup can make you more prone to burning. Reinforce cellular energetics with niacinamide. A dose of 50 mg three times per day helps raise NAD+, a cofactor your mitochondria use to produce energy and maintain proper cell death signaling. Adequate NAD+, supports immune recognition and clearance of damaged cells. If you're wondering why some people do well on elegitanin-rich foods and others do not, remember the microbiome dependency. Without the necessary microbes, you won't make much urolithin A from pomegranates or berries. That's where consistent supplementation has offered a more reliable approach in studies. The short-term takeaway is clear. Within four weeks, daily urolithin A in midlife and older adults shifted immune cell populations toward more youthful profiles, improved mitochondrial markers, and enhanced functional responses. Over longer periods and broader outcomes, trials in strength and metabolism add encouraging signals. Here's your challenge for today. Audit your kitchen and remove seed oils and packaged foods that list soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, grape seed, canola, cotton seed, or rice bran oil. Track your linoleic acid intake with a nutrition app and aim below five grams then support energy with whole fruits and white rice over the next week. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.